back in the woods what's up guys in this video i want to talk about cardano ada gang and why i believe cardano is the most misunderstood crypto a lot of people call it a copycat of ethereum they say charles is stupid he's dumb doesn't know what he's doing makes empty promises nothing's groundbreaking about cardano the programming language sucks haskell nobody wants to use it developers are moving away they're leaving I've seen it all, guys. I've seen all the fun. I've seen all the news. I've seen all the opinions. However, I am still super bullish on Cardano. And this is what the Ada gang has been trying to tell you. Good things take time. Cardano is the most decentralized proof-of-stake crypto in the entire market. Charles is one of the smartest, most influential persons in this market. He's the co-founder of Ethereum, the biggest layer one blockchain. He's behind Cardano. You got to be very patient in this crypto market. When you try to flip your cryptos and make 100x, this is where your emotions take control of you and you make bad decisions. That's why people get wrecked from time to time. That's why people just sell their bags at the bottom and get wrecked or sell too early and miss out on profits. It's because they can't get their emotions under control and be patient. You got to have patience, guys. I came from a stocks background. I know what patience is all about. People in stocks have a 10 to 30 year time horizon they don't think with two weeks you know if this investment is going to flip and make them 100 percent gains they invest they close the app they have a life outside the app and they wait they wait until their company speaks for itself this is my mindset when i invest into companies i try to evaluate them over one year two years three years and go from there as a utility based investor it's very hard to pick new companies and say this one's going to the moon when they have no track record especially when they're an anonymous team by the way i'd be very careful those can be rug pulls and those still exist in the market i know we're trying to get some clarity some regulation the sec is trying to do all they can to quote unquote protect us which they eventually will once you get more clarity but rug pulls still exist and that's the thing when you're investing to companies that are beat down you got to evaluate their companies, their team, what they've been doing, are their partnerships growing, is their ecosystem growing, is their TVL total value locked growing, and that's the thing guys, Cardano gets a lot of hate, but their TVL is nothing to bat an eye at, they have over 100 million locked, that's a lot, that's a lot of TVL, and this is during this time, and this is also at the same time, while Cardano is below 30 cents of being called a security, but the SEC, the SEC did not randomly just pick Cardano. They know Charles is an outspoken guy. They know he sometimes defends himself. Some people see it in a bad light. I totally get it. He does get attacked a lot, so I don't blame him. But he knew what he was doing. He did not randomly just pick 10, 15 cryptos out of a hat and say, okay, we're going to target these. He polygon and Mac to name two. And he said they have large communities. We're going to pursue them or at least call them a security. Now, this is all hearsay. I'm just giving you guys my opinion as to why I believe they were called out by the SEC. I think they're trying to cause mass panic and BlackRock coming in with this ETF now is kind of disseminating some of this panic and pushing it down because now people are like, wait, what the hell? The SEC was just targeting all altcoins and now BlackRock is coming in at this time. Isn't it risky? This is what I mean, guys. Manipulation. That's why if you saw my last video, my last two videos, I was talking about how manipulation is just a natural part of the market. It's in stocks too. The whales and big money want you to sell to buy your bags on the cheap. Yes, they have millions of dollars, some even have billions, but they want to make the biggest ROI possible. And the only way for them to do it, especially if what they're looking at is grossly uh, you know, up there in price, is to get you to sell. And how do they get you to sell? They tell your crypto is going to zero. They say it's a security. They pay someone to make a video and say, hey, say something bad about this crypto. And it wrecks. It goes right down. And the smart money is like, they're not selling. They just keep buying. They buy an autopilot and go about their day. But retail or the new investors anyway, they're like, oh my God. You know, see some of the home alone faces, right? They're like, oh my God, it's going to zero. I got to get out before I lose all my money. And they sell. They sell. And then when we see a true bull market, which happened last cycle, by the way, and happens in stock markets too, every single cycle, they see it go up, they jump back in, but they jump back in now at a much higher price. And then they're like, oh my God, it's going down again. What should I do? And then when smart money and you and I sell, they panic again, they get wrecked, they say crypto's bad, and they leave a space 
altogether. Sorry my mic died, so I had to refilm part of this video, but just look at BlackRock, 2018, what they say in the interview. None of our clients are interested in crypto. None of us even care about crypto. I think it's you know, not worth anything. We're monitoring it. No one has ever told me that they want to invest into crypto. And what happened in 2018? Crypto pumped, Bitcoin pumped, right? And now all of a sudden they're coming in five years later. Oh, we're going to come out with our own ETF. And just conveniently, they want to do this in 2024, which if I had to guess, might be around the Bitcoin having the biggest catalyst that has previously sent us in bull cycles. Guys, we're seeing the manipulation come under our noses. We're seeing them literally tell us now like what they've been doing. This is why I say, no matter what you hear, I always tell you guys, take it with a grain of salt, right? You probably have a salt shaker by now, but how much salt you're, you're taking. It's true. Like read between the lines. If you see big influencers and, and people saying certain things, don't just take what they say and say, okay, it, it's true. Look further into it. If the sediment in the market is very bullish and all of a sudden you see a huge negative catalyst, it might be for a reason. Like I said, the institutions in Wales know how to shake you guys out. They know how to shake retail out. They do it every cycle. That's why you only see a certain percentage of whales make tons of money and the majority of investors lose money. They know what they're doing. They know it's an emotionally driven market. They know this. I hope you guys know this because I tell you guys all the time. They will say and do whatever it takes to shake you out. Targeting Cardano, targeting Matic, targeting Algorand. These were not random. They have large communities, great teams, and good techs. Polygon was developing like crazy in their ecosystem. Cardano has one of the largest loyal communities behind it. And Charles is the most, one of the most influential people in this space. It was not random. They knew if they said these cryptos are securities, the majority of retail, especially new investors who don't have the experience and knowledge and discipline are going to believe them and sell. Fear drives a lot of people. I heard a saying once, fear or love drive people the most. It's true when you think about it. You know, I always tell you guys, you want to use your logic when you're in this market, but I understand it's a lot easier said than done. It is hard to do that. You know, especially when you're holding an asset that is called a security and you're a new investor and you have nothing to compare it to, no experience in this market, and you're following some people or listening to some people that don't really have your best interest at heart, and it's hard to tell if they're telling the truth or lying. Listen, I totally get it. That was the main reason why I started this channel to begin with, is because I saw so much crazy nonsense out there, so much FUD, so much BS. And as I wanted to learn and invest into the market myself, I knew there was a lot of people out there who were not getting genuine information to grow their portfolio. And it's unfortunate because a lot of people are staying away from crypto because they call it a shady market, because they call it a scammy market. That's why BlackRock coming out with their own ETF is actually a good thing because some older money or people that are more risk averse that only invest into stocks, precious metals, or even real estate, they're going to get exposure to crypto. Even if it's just Bitcoin or Ethereum, you wanna see this happen because with the exposure will come more people and with more people will increase the chances of going down the old coin list and just seeing more money fall into the market. More money means more prices to the upside. And so that being said, Cardano is just an unfortunate example of this manipulation. When the SEC called them a security and they tanked to 23 cents, I literally saw that as like a Christmas present being handed to me saying, here, here's Cardano at 25, 23 cents, enjoy. And I took it and I ran with it, but I know a lot of people sold it. And I still see it when I cover Cardano in my videos, they call it worthless. They say, uh, Charles is just making empty promises. Uh, their programming language Haskell turns developers away, they're leaving in droves. If you go to Cardano's CVL, which I showed in my last Cardano video, it is in the hundreds of millions. They are growing, even while being called a security, even while being below 30 cents, they are growing and they're going to continue to keep growing because I do believe the SEC is going to lose their case to Ripple. I think it's only a matter of time. The only risk I see is if Ripple loses and XRP tanks and they say we're going after Cardano next, Polygon next, Algorand next, then yes, I'd be a little more wary of what's going on. I don't believe that's going to happen. And I understand completely if you want to stay away for that reason because you want that clarity first, totally get it you do what's best for you and your portfolio it is your money so you safeguard it how you feel it's necessary for you but that being said i think these are unfounded claims i think xrp is going to win personally and i think a lot of these claims with the other cryptos that the sec is calling securities are also going to go 
right down the gutter and i think people are going to realize that cardano below 30 cents was a deal of a lifetime and i would not be surprised if they start buying in after a rally cardano this bull cycle if all this fuck goes away i see them reaching minimum four to five dollars which is like a 12 13 next or so which is a pretty good roi if you ask me but cardano is an example of how you have to be patient in this market i told you guys in previous videos i came from a stocks background first in stocks a lot of investors there have a 10 to 30 year time horizon with their investments. They don't buy meme stocks and expect to flip their money because smart money there knows that you get wrecked that way. So you can't have that same mindset here. You have to be patient. But this is all just my opinion. How do you feel about Cardano? And more importantly, where do you see its price by the end of this bull cycle? Let me know down below in the comments. If you enjoy this video, please leave a like. It really helps so much. That being said, I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in this video.